All righty. So week 13 done. Week 14 heading at us. And I graded the submissions for you setting up your uh, construct Fun <laughs> you can say it either way, function constructor, constructor function. I want to say conjunction, junction, but I'm not. Evidently I did, but okay. This week, okay, and we'll, I know what's on the screen is dev2. So maybe I'll cover this and then come back and talk about where we're going for week 14. So I just want you to have this in your mind as we move through the last part, right? So where we're at is that you're finishing uh, the rest of the uh, OOP, um, the advanced objects and functions. And you get introduced to some, the class, which I think is the most important thing here. I think understanding subclasses and getters and setters is good. And then he fixes an, a little issue with the hangman based on the spaces. So you know, I think what I would say is all of it is important, but make sure you understand because there's not a huge difference. That's actually part of it here is that there's not a huge difference. It's And this is why some people will call class uh, syntax just uh, syntactic sugar because it is just the way, handling the way uh, what we did with constructor functions. But there actually are some differences. The more you dig into this, and this is part of what happens, is that we are just kind of lightly touching um, the idea of setting up a class. So um, the more you do, the more programming you do, the more languages you take, you'll see that this idea of using uh, classes is much more I don't, I don't want to say much more prevalent, but it is, it functions, our classes are relatively new in JavaScript. But again, it's just kind of laying on top of something we already had, but they don't quite work as they do in other languages. Now, having said that, I actually was doing uh, a little <laughs> rabbit hole this morning where I was like, because I saw some people saying, don't use classes. And I'm like, why? And, you know, when you search, you can find any answer. So I think just sticking to a basic implementation is a good idea. If you want to include getters and setters and use subclasses for your, even your impl implementation of next week's work, I didn't. Um, and actually, I'm glad I went back and, and looked at this because I could start thinking about how I might. I think the, so I just want to kind of set that context uh, for you as we move forward. So let me go back here. So for Dev2, our final Dev, right? Um, you have two options or a third if you want it, okay? And I know sometimes like options are too many, right? So the first thing you could do is take your dev one and refactor it into a class implementation. What I would recommend if you're going to do this, the sooner the better. And you can like say how much of my dev one can I recreate using a class implementation, right? So that'd be um, like, and just start with the basic form. Don't worry about um, your local storage yet. Just get the data from the user and render that into the page. Because I'll be talking about, you know, different techniques for doing local storage if you want. I've had a, uh, at least one good example uh, of doing it. And it's actually, I'll just tell you right now, it's actually creating one class to handle the input and setting up the object, right? And validating it and all that. And then there was another uh, class implementation for storage that handled the local storage. So that is one way you could do that. So the second way or the second option is actually to find an API. So this would completely walk away from the code that you've done in Dev1 and start looking at um, APIs that you would want to implement that you because you're going to and this is the part we're going to learn starting right in in the after week 14 so i hesitate a little bit but it's good to understand conceptually where we're heading right so there's so much uh around what we do on the web which is calling some other um 
and they, we call these APIs. Like I think of, matter of fact, you're going to see me use an example with JSON placeholder uh, almost immediately for to do's, um, just so you can see that example. So have, making some kind of API call, returning what we call a payload, returning the data to the browser and somehow rendering it. Right now, there may be some of you right that would want to actually do those together, like one and two, which obviously would be great and a really good experience level to come out of here. Or you might come up with your own idea, but I would say right, and that's why I put a timeline on this, and that's a pretty tight timeline as well. The sooner you kind of make a you know what what you want to walk away with, and maybe as we step into week 15 and 16, that will give you a better idea, okay? So the thing I'm gonna say um, is, and I'm just gonna move over to my browser. So in my week 13, right, the way oh, I handled it is I had created an order JS, but I didn't use it. That was kind of foreshadowing a little bit, but um, in my example, what I did is when I, I set up a, a variable called, because this was kind of one of the things is how did you approach the idea of line items, is I set them up uh, as an array with an array into it. Or, so this is a multi-dimensional array. And the reason I did that is if I wanted to hand it multiple line items, then I could handle that as well. Uh, you all approach this a little differently. I think it's all good and it's good to understand and look at the different approaches that were taken. So, and I'm not going to show you my code for week 14, but I want to tell you one of the things I would recommend is when you set up this class, because you're going to refactor this order, uh, this uh, constructor function into a class syntax, right? Also put that in an external file and then in your, uh, in your HTML, uh, just uh, script that and then script the app JS. And by the way, um, Andrew actually was playing around with this is not a bad thing using defer here, which allows you to put them back up here and it just defers that to before until it makes sure the page is loaded. So just a different implementation. So I just want to say that as when you look at week 14 and again, right? do your own example come up because really what basically i'm saying in week 14 is take you know take your idea of implementing an order right and then create a form in the web page that then gathers that and then presents that information back okay cool so the, what i want to leave you with today is like i saw some really good code uh, over the course I've now done with the dev um, code reviews for dev one. So if you would like to share your code, uh, feel free to put it out in the public space and then either here or in week 14, you know, uh, and you'll see when, if people are, if you're, if you're looking at the GitHub, but also tell people, right? It, like, here's my code. And if you had some challenges, you could talk about that. The one thing I would say to you is if you're going to re- um, if you're going to implement your, for your dev two into a class implementation, also consider, uh, handling some of the issues that if you had some, uh, in your code base. Okay. All right. Enough for me. Have a good weekend. Peace out.